With a population of 5.5 million people, only 5 to 10,000 highly skilled immigrants are working in Denmark today. Uh, where people got their green card and, and failed in a way? Because yes, yes. I have seen a lot of people because I was there in the university with them to, to, to attend our master, master uh, education in economics. And then we got this green card. And some of them stay with, with us, with me, and they couldn't really find until now. That means they have been out, outside job market for three years. And um, I ask myself why. I mean, is it because they are not that much qualified to the job here, or is it because Danish language, or is it combination of all? You can say uh, they couldn't really manage to to uh, break the, the culture, cultural barrier, and they they can't really break the network. Daniel, who is a highly educated Ethiopian immigrant, believes that there should be more guidance after foreign workers receive their green card permit in order to live and work within the country. Denmark, it might be effective, but the point is, what about after that? After they come here, they need more help. They don't speak Danish language, they don't know the culture, they don't know about the work attitude. They need more and more help than just giving them the green card. In the second aspect, I think they fail. In the first aspect, they might be successful bringing many skilled people to Denmark. But in terms of accommodating them and giving them the right job and then contribute to uh, Danish economy, I doubt it. I doubt it. So I can just see it from these two perspectives. As the number of educated immigrants living in Denmark increases, employment and social comfort for foreign workers is on the decrease.